Hey guys, welcome back. Today I have my current favorites I'm going to share with you guys. These are things that I've been loving. We have some skincare products, some random products, some makeup products as well. So before we get started, if you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button. And if you want to follow me over on Instagram, I will have that right here for you guys. All right, so I'm going to start off with some random and skincare products, and then we'll jump into makeup in a few. So the first product, which I'm seriously obsessed with, I wish I'd gotten around to this way sooner, is this bad boy right here, the Mighty Patch. So this is for your pimples, for your breakouts. If you feel a pimple coming on, you can put it on. Basically what it is, it's a little tiny patch. So it's by the brand Hero Cosmetics. I figured it out on TikTok and I've seen a bunch of people using them. Basically it is this tiny little patch. It's clear so it's gonna be really hard to see but it is this little, little patch. These are the invisible patches. They do have a few different styles to choose from. I did go with the invisible one. I like these a lot better. Basically, it sits really flat to your skin. So what you do is pop this on a pimple that's either active, so it'll like draw out all the juices and nastiness and kind of dry it up literally overnight. It takes six hours for this to dry out your pimple and it becomes flat flat to your skin, it's so incredible. Wear them to bed, you can wear them out and no one even knows it's on your skin. When I tell you this is seriously so invisible on your skin, nobody even knows I'm wearing it until I point it out. I popped it on this little breakout right here last night and it like went down in size. They're not like as raised as they were when you first put it on, it's so incredible. And I do leave it on for the full six hours or even a little bit more just so it really has it's time to work its magic and I love it. You can get a little baby pack and try it out. You could try out, I believe, two of them in a little sample pack. I got mine at Target and this is the original box that comes with 24 patches. So I'm obsessed with it. I love how invisible and thin it is and it works like magic. So, okay, next item I'm loving is also part of skincare. It is the Skin Iceland Glacial Face Wash. You guys, I love this. It only took me about three to four washes to know it was my new favorite. I love the way it feels on my skin. When you wash your face, you feel like you actually got a really deep clean. I know a lot of people like to double cleanse and I feel like you feel that way when you use this. It takes out all your impurities and makes your skin feel super smooth and clean. It has such a nice smell as well because it has willow bark in here. It just smells really fresh and I'm obsessed with the way it leaves my skin feeling. It makes it feel really smooth as well. The next morning I'll wake up and my skin is super smooth and I feel like it also helps any like, I don't wanna say active breakouts, but just kind of Anything that's on my skin, the next morning I wake up and it just feels like it dried them out, but in the best way possible. It doesn't like dry your skin, if that makes sense. I absolutely love this. It feels so refreshing and cooling on the skin. And I started using this in like the middle of August and I've been using it ever since. I do it morning and night and I absolutely love it. So of course my like cleansers switch up here and there, but this has been a go-to. All right, so next product I'm absolutely loving is the Got To Be Glued hair gel. So what I like to use this for, this is a little baby size. I like to use it for my brows. I've seen again, this all over TikTok and YouTube. And I don't know why I've never tried it before because I absolutely love that feathery bushed up brow or just like kind of just like a spikier brow, more full. I personally love using brow gels and the soap brow. So I'm just like about that look. And I was so shocked that I never thought to put gel in my brows. I've used hairspray on my eyebrows. I like to just spray it on a little spoolie, pop it on my brows, and that looks phenomenal as well. So I don't know why I've never tried a gel. This is the Styling Spiked Gel, and it is water resistant. So when it says that, like your brows aren't moving, they don't feel hard or crusty, but it also feels like a really nice strong hold. And you can definitely see the difference, like when you use it versus when you don't. Like a typical gel, I love the way it smells as well. You only need literally like less than a pea size amount. I like to just put this directly on the spoolie, spoolie them up, reshape them and then use my finger to like kind of press it down and keep it in place and I absolutely love it. I would recommend if you're just gonna use it for your brows to get this little baby one if you can find. I think it's super convenient and you're not gonna go through it like really fast either. So I would say to go with this one. The hold of it is really nice on my brow so I can only imagine for the actual hair. So I'm loving it. All right, next item is going to be a household item. I'm so obsessed with this. If you follow me on Instagram, you would see me post this a ton but you guys need to get your hands on this. If you love candles, you need this. This is by the brand Wakeheart. I'm obsessed with this. You guys know the Dolan Twins. They created a brand called Wakeheart. I do own a few of their fragrances as well, and they came out with crystal candles. This actually does have a little crystal at the bottom of the candle, which I did actually retrieve mine already. I took it out, I was so impatient. Um, but yeah, basically you burn the candle, the crystals inside, I'm obsessed. So mine is the Clarity Candle and it has a little amethyst crystal at the bottom. So the notes in this candle is beach air, salted cedarwood, and jasmine. Like smoldering kind of smell, almost like a little bit like a man scent. Oh, I'm just so in love with it. I cannot describe the scents. I'm terrible with that, but 
it is so good. I've been burning it ever since I got it. We're literally to here. They also have like courage, healing, relax, things like that. So they all have different meanings and crystals at the bottom, which is so incredible. It really does like put me in this like calm state. Scents for me definitely do that. Like I love the smell of lavender and that really keeps me calm as well. So yeah, I would highly recommend to check these out. Had to shout them out because I'm always using it now. All right, another item which is going to be like a personal care item is going to be deodorant. And I did pick this up the other day, but your girl is already hooked. So I know I'm kind of late to the bandwagon with this one, but this is the native deodorant. I got mine in the scent coconut and vanilla. So I'm kind of picky when it comes to deodorant. I just use basically Dove, but I don't love when it feels like it's like still super wet and like tacky on under there. I don't know. I just, I don't like that feeling at all. I do want to try this out. This one is supposed to be a really nice one. It is natural. It's paraben free and aluminum free. And I think that's really important. I know, like I said, I'm a little late to that. I try out more of a natural kind of deodorant. And I know that it takes a little bit of time for your body to adjust to it. What I've been told, it takes about like a month or two for your body to really adjust to it. So your, you know, scents could kind of pop right through that deodorant. So you do want to be careful. I haven't noticed it like having a weird scent. It smells so, so good. And it also doesn't feel wet, doesn't feel tacky. This is the Elf Faux Mink Lashes in the style Drama Queen. I did wear this in my previous video and everyone was asking me, what are, lashes are you wearing? Those look so nice. And yeah, it was these and I'm obsessed. My girl Jasmine raves about these all the time. So I had to try them out. And she actually gave me these pairs, so thank you so much, girl. Um, I'm obsessed. They're so like natural-like, yet they have that extra glam to them where they do look like they're like lash extensions. You have a band at the top, but it's not that noticeable. These are perfect. I'm literally obsessed. I'm on my third wear and I'm gonna clean them today, but I'm on my third wear and I'm so in love. So they are faux mink and they're super inexpensive. If you guys can get your hands on them, I highly recommend it. I will be wearing them in another makeup tutorial so you guys can see them better, but so, so good. If you wanna see them on, check out my previous video. Obsessed. Now this is from Persona Cosmetics. This is fairly new. It is a blush and highlighter brush. I've been using this religiously since I got it. I'm obsessed with this. So this is the blush side. It has a really nice domed kind of bristle to it. And the other side is the highlighting side. And I think this is such an awesome brush. I love dual ended brushes. I feel like it just kills two birds with one stone and you get the job done. It's really nice bristles, very soft, and it applies the product so well. It doesn't like cling to it. It is a perfect brush, I feel. It's really soft and feels nice on the skin. And it's like the perfect size, at least for me. Perfect size for the apples of the cheeks and perfect size for the highlighting areas. Nothing really else to say. And I love the color on it, the aesthetic of it. It's super cute. Love Persona. All right, so I'm not sure if I've mentioned this product or not. I feel like I have just in like a regular makeup tutorial, but it is the Glow Oil from e.l.f. This is the Retro Paradise Glow Oil. It is a primer. I like to just use it on my skin whenever, whether that be prior to foundation or just alone if I'm leaving the house or something. I love the way it feels. It looks so good on the skin, super radiant, healthy. And it just reminds me of like a higher end oil. Kind of reminds me of the Smashbox oil. It's so, so good, comes on the dropper. I've definitely mentioned this before. I just cannot remember if I mentioned it in a favorites video. So if I did, forgive me, but I love it. It comes on the little dropper. You don't need a lot at all. As you can see, I'm literally loving it. You do not need a lot. You literally need less than that. So two little drops in the skin and you're good to go. Personally love using an oil prior to makeup. I think it really does wonders for the skin and just looks and glides on like a lot better. That's my personal preference and my opinion, but I'll totally recommend this and is so inexpensive. Go get your hands on it. Another e.l.f. product that I've been loving is this lip balm, you guys. This is the Ride or Die Lip Balm. This one is just like their minty scent. Just clear, I love it. I like to use this one right before bed just because it is clear and it's not gonna have any pigments. Just your typical clear balm, but it's really thick and I think it moisturizes the lips so well. What I love is that you don't get like a residue with this one. You'll just wake up the next morning if you use it at night with like really plumped hydrated lips and I love it. And if you don't use it at night, you just use it during the day. You don't get like a ring or anything on your lips. They don't turn super chapped, you know? So I do use this one at nighttime for bed, but I do have another one, that peachy one that I have. And I like to use that just during the day. I actually leave that in my car. It's in my car right now. So I'm obsessed with them. I think they're perfect. And again, really inexpensive. And this one smells really good as well. Love it. You guys already know NYX lip liners are by far my favorite ones. Again, very inexpensive. Can pick it up at Ulta online for like $4. I love it. This one is again a nude shade, but this one's in the shade Nude Truffle. So I did pick this up last week and I've been using it ever since and I'm absolutely obsessed with it. It's just like a deeper nude. Kind of reminds me of the KKW Beauty Nude, more of a brown. I think this one's perfect to go in with and you can go in with like a lighter nude on top. 
It's the perfect lip liner. Again, these wear all the same way to me, all the NYX ones. Super long wear, really creamy and easy to go out on the lips, and I just love it. If you haven't checked out my nude lip video, go check that out. I wish this was involved in there, but I did just pick it up. So I've been using it ever since, and one of the faves. Next item is this CoverGirl spray. This is their Clean Fresh Prep and Set Water Mist. This one smells like citrus. It just, it's such a good cooling feel on my skin. It has a really nice spritz as well. It's like very easy, fine mist. I love it. I like to use this literally in between my makeup. I just feel like constantly applying this throughout the process of your makeup makes the end result look that much better in my eyes. I just, I'm obsessed. So this I've been using ever since I started using it and I cannot put it down. I feel like it's taken the place of like MAC Fix Plus. I used to use that like in between religiously, but now I switched to using this. It gives like a really subtle glow to the skin as well. Nothing crazy, just like a really nice hydrated look. So if you're in the market for a spray i would highly recommend to check this out all right next products which you will find in my previous video is going to be this foundation so i feel like it might be a little too soon to share this as being a favorite but your girl was blown away in that video if you watched that so instantly in love with it with even wearing it throughout the entire day like it was so amazing it is the new nars soft matte complete foundation it's such a soft matte finish very light still glam but natural and it's overall one of my favorites right now like i will still always love the natural radiant from nars that's one of the holy grails but this has been literally my favorite ever since i made that video which was about not even a week ago to now i've been using it every single day so it's what's on my skin today an amazing feel and coverage love it last favorite is going to be this blush it is by wonder beauty this one is the double date cheek and lip blush i personally have just been using this little blush section and it does have a little lip balm at the bottom with a mirror, which is really nice for travel. But I've been using this one and it is so, so pigmented. That's literally just me swiping once and look how pigmented that is. Blends right into the skin. It feels really nice as well. Again, it is cream, so it just melts into the skin, looks really natural. And you have like a really pretty rosy glow to your skin. Overall, amazing. I've been like getting really into blush lately, which is so crazy. I've never been a blush person. All of my life, I actually never use that. I always used to skip out on that product just because I have naturally rosy cheeks under my makeup. So I don't ever like adding it back into my skin, but you guys, a little tiny dab of it will do wonders for the skin. And for me personally, I go in like an upwards motion and it just kind of lifts the face as well as giving a tiny bit of color. I've been doing a little bit more recently. I don't know if you've noticed if you've been watching me, but so good so highly recommend that one and it will last you a while because you don't need a lot you literally need less than this for the cheeks like yeah it just gives a really nice flushed color to your skin and really healthy so those were all of the products that i'm going to share today for this favorites video i feel like i may have missed a few items but you'll see it in upcoming videos if i did but those are all the items that i'm loving the ones i would totally recommend to you guys and i hope you guys did enjoy this video and I believe that is all. I'm going to have them listed below, so check there. And yeah, that's all for this video. I will catch you guys in my next one. Bye.